Hi everyone. This is Cranky Pants Bruno. Say hello, Bruno. In here, look. In here. Oh, now he thinks there's someone here. Sorry. <laughs> Thought you'd want to meet him. Tess. Um. Hi guys. Shaking in again. What is ET? <laughs> I'll tell you a funny thing first. All the um, scammers and single blokes that have been messaging me, they're all, hello, hi, or hi, sexy, hi, beautiful, all of this. And I write back, hi, do you have ET too? And a lot of them block me. I think they think I, I'm talking about a sexually transmitted disease or something, <laughs> which I thought was funny, I had to tell you. Anyway, I'm Nicole. My granddaughter calls me Shaky Nen. She's five. Um, she doesn't like me shaking her hair, uh, brushing her hair because I make her head shake. Um, so for anyone that's new to the page, ET is a central tremor. It's a neurologi neurological, I can never get that word out right, neurological disorder that um, causes involuntary movements. Um, I've got some... A neuro neurological movement disorder that presents with symptoms of tremor. Um, ET is the most common movement disorder affecting more than an estimated 7 million Americans. Um, ET is not nearly as well known as PD, uh, Parkinson's disease, nor is ET research anywhere as well funded. Um, it's often misdiagnosed. A lot of people think they have... Um, Parkinson's disease at first. Um, I just want to explain a few um, a few differences that this paper I found had. Um, in PD, Parkinson's disease, the tremor is mostly seen at rest when the body part is not being used and may be referred to as a resting tremor. Whereas in ET, the tremor mostly occurs during, during action or movement, such as when riding, eating or holding a posture. Um, I have had ET all my life. Um, I did in one video mention that I had a, a trauma when I was about seven or eight. Um, but my mum and I'd never, I didn't realise I was going to talk about that on the day when I pressed play. Um, my mum and I talked about it afterwards and I realised that I did have my tremors way before that. Um... So as far back as we can remember, I haven't been this bad, of course. They do progress over the years. Um, I tremor from the moment I open my eyes every morning till when I lay my head on the pillow and my head finally rocks me to sleep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't shake when I'm asleep because if I do wake up through the night to turn over or something... Um, I can lay my head on the pillow, it's not rocking anymore. Um, but when I lay it on my pillow to go to sleep, it is. Um, I can stop them, as you see, when I put my... If I press hard enough um, in some positions, I can just about stop them. I'm still tremoring a little bit. It does give you a bit of relief, um, but you know they're still there. You can still feel them tremoring inside. So even if you'll see me, I do this a lot with my hands because I think an ET's way of thinking is if I'm doing something with my hands, um, you may think it's the hand movement and not the tremors happening. Um, ET is a hard thing because in your head you have your normal thinking like for instance i've mentioned a party invitation so you get the party invitation great party then there's the et thinking the part that says you can't go to a party don't even think about it how are you going to go to a party that et thinking i think is what keeps us in this um it keeps our anxiety going the other day when I um, did the video of my anxiety attack taking Tess out, um, I, I did take about... Oh, see, Bruno thinks he can hear something. He's just... Ugh. Um, I did think... 
that must be my brother at the door sorry guys um oh, now i've lost track let me think um <laughs> bruno's just lost all my concentration okay so with the videos uh, uh, i um i did think that <sighs> oh i never wanted this to happen on here but this is what you do a lot I did think, I, okay, I did think I was in a really bad anxiety attack. By the time I pressed play, it had taken about 15 minutes um, and I did have to calm down a bit to press the buttons. But ET to me is an experiment. It's an experiment in everything you do um, because everything you're doing, you, you're trying different ways to do other things. Watching the video back the other day, I noticed that at the beginning, I had the voice tremors, I had the body tremors, I had everything going on. Guys, I'm in a live, please. Um, so I had everything going on. Sorry, it's, everyone's just come in to have a chat in the house at the moment. Um, I'm totally lost again. I'm sorry, guys. You are totally, please, um, okay. I can't even rewind it to see where I was up to. Um, at the moment, my ET is just going off in my head saying, this is what it's like, this is what it's like. Dale, please, can you go away? I can't concentrate. Sorry. Um, sorry, guys. Um, Okay, watching the videos back, I noticed that I was shaking really bad at first. Then towards the end, um, I noticed I had calmed down. So that's an experiment I'm going to try again next time. I'm sorry, I'm completely thrown off now. Um, next time I'm, I'm going to press record straight away while I'm in that. I'm not going to take 15 minutes and I'm going to talk. I'll talk about my kids or something to see if it calms me down like it did the other day. Because I think while I was talking to you guys, I was overruling that ET thinking, whereas if I wasn't talking to you, so I would have been sitting on the lounge and I would have just been working myself up and up and up more in my own head. Because the, I think the ET thinking laughs at you and says, yeah, I got her. Here she goes. She's off again. This is great. Let's see how long it can last this time. But like I said, talking to you the other day through it, I, it only took me about another 15 minutes to calm down. Um, and I think also my anxiety might fuel Br Bruno because I went outside for about half an hour. Shane and Renee were in here. They brought Bruno in. So Bruno hadn't been around me for half an hour. He hadn't got anxious from me. When they brought Bruno in, he didn't attack her for the first time ever because he hadn't had me around him right up until that minute that she came in the door. So there's a lot of experimenting to go on in this. And, and I am learning doing these videos. I'm learning different things just by watching them back and seeing how things affect me. This one will be a doozy because that happens a lot and I suppose that's another side of ET that you have to see where once one thing, even a little noise in the background, Bruno barking was enough to make me lose concentration straight away. Um, you know, it, so hopefully this all made sense. It, it was a horrible one this time. I really wish there was a stop button. But... Anyway, I hope I got out what I wanted to say. Um, I did have things written here. One more thing I want to say. I learnt something new again this week. There is, the whole month of March is National Essential Tremor Awareness Month. Now, say that fast three times. National Essential Tremor Awareness Month is March. Say it fast three times, go. <laughs> I never knew. I'm 50 this year, I've had it all my life, and I never knew there was a whole month dedicated to this. And it definitely needs a whole month dedicated to it. 
And this March is my month. I'm on it. We're going to be known this March. Okay, guys. Thank you, everyone. I'm sorry I got all confused in that one. Um, like I said, that's another side of it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful, shaky day. Love you all. And I'll um, have a nice weekend. And I'll see you next week. Okay, thank you, guys. Bye.